Welcome back, everybody. Um, see if we can walk backwards for a little bit. So this is uh, August 7th. I do not have uh, the spider with me on this trip. We are on the island of Anastasia, the city of St. Augustine Beach, and the beach of Butler. So uh, I don't have the spider with me this week. It's just a family vacation. So let me show you where we're at and uh, what we're gonna be doing this week. So we're down here at the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, St. Augustine is one of the oldest establishments, it is the oldest establishment in the United States, consecutive, consecutive oldest. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the oldest established settlement here in the United States. The beaches are incredible. I love the ocean, paying you back around. The beaches are empty. And it is amazing. So uh, you're gonna just uh, come with me this week as uh, we see what's uh, what's around St. Augustine and Anastasia Island. All right, everybody. I hope you liked the video. everybody it is the 8th and we have made it to Flagler Beach down from st. Augustine and we are at Burlow sugar mill uh, so back in the 1800s the sugar mill was built it was the largest on the East Coast it was built on Seminole lands and the Seminole Indians burned it down in the early 1800s and this is what we have left and <laughs> and how I'm gonna relate this to the spider is the last time we were here I uh, spoke to the shop and they were like hey your spiders gonna be with us for three months cuz someone put a pulley on backwards so here we go um, one thing when you pull into the park you can actually drive to the ruins I didn't know that so I walked a quarter of a mile um, which was not good, to be honest with you. Like a bird. So like I said, this was the sugar mill. And we're gonna just walk through. Here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. And this was the largest sugar mill on the east coast of Florida. And I don't know if this is going to pick it up, but it's like there's a you know, a burn residue still on it from you know, all those years ago of this thing being burnt down. Very cool. Sometimes you need to go. How would you like to get your water from that? 
that well. Don't mind these crazy people. They just like follow me along everywhere I go. From a distance you can tell. But we have all the signs on, on what was what um, as they were meant to be milling. Would you say they would be milling sugar cane? That's the proper word? What do you think, Trey? You and me. There you go. You can pause on that really quick if you want. And I'm trying to keep the sun out of the shots here. What was that, Jade? Oh, that's I'm just sitting here. I got time. Okay. Here we kind of have a picture of what it see looked like from up here. The world we have a plantation small. slaves. We can sit together. And, uh, the sugar mill itself. And then this here would be the curing room. Very cool. And then I'm gonna show you where we're at, because this is gorgeous. August 10th, we are at Fort Matanzas. It's a park. I'm not quite sure what the park is called. The wife's telling me it's Fort Matanzas Park. And uh, we've been coming here for years. And what's cool about this park, not only is there a fort, and you get to ride a boat, and it's all free, but we have these beautiful trees. Beautiful oak trees. And we have a Jaden. And we have more beautiful oak trees with the Spanish moss. So the Spanish moss. I can't zoom with this. So let's take a walk. Hopefully this is all in focus. There's your Spanish moss. And it's gorgeous. So, I mean, we've got pictures for years and years of kids playing in these trees. And they are just enormous. Welcome back, everybody. We are at Fort Matanzas. It is the 10th. It's a Wednesday. Uh, hopefully, the, the wind isn't uh, messing with the mic. You can see with the goatee, it's really blowing. Um, it's pretty cool. I will uh, spin you around and show you where we're at. Here we go. This isn't all of it. But we got Fort Matanzas. It was started in 1740, and uh, they completed it in 1742. It was to patrol the inlet, Matanzas Inlet down here. Um, in St. Augustine, we have um, the oldest established settlement in the United States, and this was to protect um, the back door to St. Augustine. So let me just walk around here pretty, pretty quick. And uh, what we have up here is Matenza's Inlet. All right, so it's going to be hard to see, but we have a bridge down there, and that's the inlet. Um, so this fort was to defend anything that came up the inlet all the way up into St. Augustine. And then we have, uh, oh, we have Jaden. Hi, Jaden. She's, uh, she's filming me, and we're filming her. But uh, I don't know if this would be the front side or not. 
but it's just a fairly small fort. It didn't need to be big. They said that the intercoastal was shallow enough that uh, the bigger ships that would have to come up with the cannons to destroy this could not make it because it was too shallow. Oh no, what's she doing? <laughs> Hi, Jaden. So this is this is Fort Matanza, uh, Spanish built. Uh, they did say that it used to be covered in a white uh, plaster, and then it was uh, decorated with uh, with red. So here we are. <laughs> this is gonna take an hour, so I got to be uh, be able to walk for the next hour. This should be fun. But it's gorgeous, it truly is gorgeous here. Uh, this is probably the third time of us coming and experiencing this. So I'll get up and I'll get some video of inside here in a second. All right, so here we are up at the top. I would go all the way up to the tippy top, but I don't think I'm gonna fit through the little hole. If you want. Here, watch out, I'm gonna then we have the cannons. All right, it's a little dark in here, but I think we can get what we're looking at. Uh, they said six people would be in here for up to no oh, six. six. Yeah, six people would share this room for thirty days, and then they would be uh, moved out, and another six would come. So, no, I didn't know that. Um, so we're here at the... Nice. Fun fact, the uh, seahorses, the males give birth to the babies. Did not know. You gonna touch it? I remember last year. It's a lot of this, actually. It's a, a chocolate chip. Yeah, <laughs> That's like gorgeous. I love it. You are rich. That's cool. I have smaller ones. I probably should put the smaller one in here. I love it. <laughs> now this is a scorpion. Mm -hmm. Gill version of scorpion lungs. Bunch of eyes like a spider. Nine or ten. Depends on the person, honestly. Eyes that are like, like that of a fly, see basically what we do, and more sim and the rest are simple as these, some on the bottom, and one or not at the end of the tail, that's the, depends on the person you talk to. Yeah. About three times the size of this, full grown, with 20 years, molts as they get bigger, shedding that skin of shell, and then uh, these are older than dinosaurs. Oh, so they do molt, so just because you see a shell on the beach doesn't mean that Right now, that I would say it depends on the size. Most since I haven't really seen them on the beach myself, if they're really big, uh, they live a longer life and are dead. So they get about a foot and a half wide. So if they're anywhere near that size, they're down to dead. Just dead. Uh, now, if it's a smaller one, it could be either one. Okay. But definitely, it's most from what lunges and reef balls, which we'll see the reef balls by the last window. Simply concrete things with holes. Place in the ocean that's a home for fish and coral where they don't have one or it's dying. Uh, it's important coral for coral too. It's an animal just like fish, but they're like upside down jellyfish essentially. They stick out tentacles, helps them eat. Some sting, grows like every animal but slow. Um, it can take decades to grow back if it breaks because it only grows at, like a couple centimeters a year. And it's important as a home to one fourth of all life that exists as they estimate, which is about two million of the estimated eight million species. Now, one thing I actually like to ask here: um, Do any of y'all recognize these long silver guys? They kind of look like a carp. Car. The mouth on the bottom water. is the same idea. Oh, you can find these guys in freshwater too. Some of them. Really? Certain kinds. Those are mullet. Oh. A uh, very big mullet. Uh, these are the ones that you see fishermen using. You'll see um, like a lot of small fish jumping in shallow water that are being chased by stuff. A lot of times it's mullet here. And uh, they're algae eaters, so like the ones in here, you might see them spit the shells out of their mouth. They've seen the algae off our shells and doing that. I don't yeah. think they had those last year. We probably, yeah, we did. You did? 
you. It's also, of course, a weapon if they get scared enough to use it. So they, in theory, can flick it out and stab if they need. Um, they're not an aggressive fish. I've never seen or even heard of one use it as a weapon, but of course anything's possible. Um, they're also algae eaters for what that's worth there. Uh, there's one of the best. The Margate, solid grayish white one that isn't thin like our look downs here, which is a very cheesy name, obviously. They have a steep head, kind of like the other one. Supposedly. Cheesy. Um, let's see. Then we have just the ray. I don't even need this target. <laughs> this thing knows the drill. And so do our look downs, because the second this thing goes in, the, my hand goes in the water, they'll, once they catch on to what I have in my hand, they're going to attack me. So they're eyeing it too. <laughs> At least that missed my mouth this time. Come here, buddy. This guy's name is Raider. He's our countdown stingray. Uh, whoever named this thing said it has a head shape like a cow's nose. And it can stay anywhere from the size it is now to and get almost or get almost four feet wide. Lives up to 18-ish years. Um, this kind of stinger has a different shape and eye placement than, mo than most. Easy way to tell where they live um, when they have a wing shape, eyes on the side like this one. They lift from the middle towards the surface, but eat off the bottom because their mouth is there. And um, they'll eat fish, shrimp, crabs, and clams. It's just an example with teeth strong enough to break those. I guess this thing for obvious good reasons. Eight feet, 800 pound, full size, 50 plus year lifespan on. It's a lot bigger than last year. It's, it's gonna grow, I don't know. I'll be the first to admit, I don't know how long it takes for them to get to that full size, but uh, they can live over 50, so, and that one, the estimate on that one's about 10 years old. Hmm. Uh, they are critically endangered, so that is one thing we're extremely lucky to have. Uh, these sharks and- All right, so I don't know if I said where we're at. We're uh, St. Augustine, aquarium it's not a big aquarium um, but you can feed sharks nerf sharks and it looks like we're gonna feed a ray I am not gonna feed a ray Jaden will be feeding the ray this time around yeah that's why she picks this spot uh, here you go whenever you're ready straight down and go straight facing out just adjust it to our mouth as needed I just go straight down yeah, just hold, make sure it's maybe a, a halfway down the window, close to it. Yeah, right there's mine. It'll take her a second once she comes up. Yeah, okay. and just adjust that's it to her mouth. Like, yeah, that's why that's I say it's not as easy to figure out. They have creatures in the other one. And you can pet her while she's up here. Go ahead and pet her while she's up here, and then I'll give you the other one. Then. Oh my gosh, that feels so weird. There you go. Their skin was used as sandpaper. Um, you're touching slime right now. Yeah. So they have some that help keep from getting <laughs> sick. So, that's, so it literally is slime, so obviously it's slime. Uh, uh, food, whatever anyone wants to say with that. Uh, so that's actually important for the health. Alrighty, folks, well, I have a couple questions for you while we're on the way over there. I'm going to need you to raise your hand if you're from Florida. Okay, I got a couple Floridians out here. Raise your hand if this is your first time in St. Augustine. Couple, okay, awesome. Raise your hand if this is your first time at Fort Matanzas. Woo, lots of hands. Now raise your hand if you've been here before. All right, keep them up, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Ask them many questions. Let's see if they remember. Very good. Well, welcome aboard, everybody. We're glad to have you here today. I don't know. <laughs> 